Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sarah, and I am here with Dr. Pedram Shojai. Hello. And we're talking about energy dips today. So here's the deal. I have uneven energy during the day, like especially around, oh, say, 3.30, 4, 5 p.m. My energy goes from here to like here. Mm. I need some help. What you cool. got for me? Step one is the people that are seemingly having energy all day, they make it look that way because they know how to come down and then come back out. So nobody has energy all day. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to go with the ebbs and flows of your energy throughout the day so that you can gather energy and rest deeply so that when you hit that, Sarah, um, you don't go, oh my God, I feel so guilty. I don't know, I don't know why I don't have more energy than I should, and go, oh, I'm having an energy dip. I should do that thing. Right? Nice. Okay, so I don't need to beat myself up. I could just, you know, take some tools from a Qigong master. He's here. <laughs> He's in the building. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do something basic. I mean, there's a lot of elaborate stuff in Qigong, right? Um, and uh, I'm what, a beginner. Right, and the beginner stuff helps a lot. So first things first, just the way you're standing. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, as you stand with your feet shoulder width apart, Center your weight between the centers of your feet and your heels. So a little farther back. Mm. And then what you do is you kind of bend your knees and tuck up your pelvis. Okay. Yeah. That looks really good. So that's kind of the, the entry level of any sort of energy work is to have the right stance so that you can flow. Okay. And so a lot of you will feel like you're maybe a little too forward. Look at a mirror if you need to, or you're trying to lean too far backward. Find your center of gravity, like a plumb line, drop it down from the top of your head, directly down through uh, your pelvis, through your perineum into the ground. Okay. So this is one of the fundamental stances in Qigong. You say perineum, I say perineum. She says perineum. <laughs> I say tomato. Um, so what we're going to do is have the elbows drop a little bit while keeping the hands still there. Perfect. It's like you're hugging a tree. And what we're going to do is this is for when you're like, oh boy, I'm spent. What do I do? Right? You lock into this position, hands about a couple inches apart uh, in terms of fingertips, soft, right? Soft in the hands, soft in the posture. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the tip of your tongue and touch the roof of your mouth just ever so slightly, head suspended and in line with your spine, knees bent, all the stuff that we just talked about. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and close your eyes and start breathing in nose and out nose just to your lower belly, okay? So guys, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna trick you, so let's just take a second here and breathe and then I'll tell you when to open your eyes so you can watch what we do later, okay? So in nose and out nose, to your lower abdomen, probably about three inches below your navel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna visualize a balloon down there and you're just gonna inflate that balloon on the inhale and deflate it on the exhale, okay? So in and out, nice and slowly. And just go ahead and let the breath sink and let the hands hang out where they are. And so Sarah's doing something from training that she's had in her yoga community, which is called Ujjayi breathing, where you could hear the out breath. So for this Qigong breathing, what I'm going to recommend is completely silent breath. So try to get your breath. Yeah, no, no, no. That's just something that this is, these are different systems and they do them differently, right? So the Qigong breath, you don't want to hear at all. You want it to be that gentle. So the in breath and the out breath. That was of course correct. It was of course correct. Find the breath, find the silence as you draw the breath down, okay? So for the interest of time, I want you to do this until you can kind of just mellow out for a second and, and anchor the breath. And then you keep breathing and just feel the space between your chest, your torso, and your palms. And just feel the, and you guys can open your eyes now if you haven't already, feel the kind of fuzzy feeling all in here as you kind of lock in and keep breathing and stay focused on your breath while sinking into the earth, 
keeping your head suspended from the ceiling. Slowly breathing in and out of your lower abdomen and just feel what's happening in here. What we're doing is we're gathering our chi. We're holding in our energy field because our, our tendency in our culture, and you just go ahead and stand there so you can kind of feel the yumminess, but our, our tendency in our culture is to constantly dissipate our energy. So this is a really powerful way of not only anchoring the consciousness and sinking it back down, but kind of encapsulating our energy field and pulling back and getting into a restorative stance for five minutes. It's one of the best work breaks you can take. Oh, the kids went down for a nap? Get into this thing, right? So slowly, rhythmically breathing in and out of our lower abdomen. And do this for a few minutes. And when you're ready to get out or when someone's banging on the door or life comes back after you, Deep breath in, palms flat, exhale out the mouth. And just stand there and feel your body for a second. Okay, so it's a simple way of gathering the nectar and restoring the central channel where your chi can flow. Nice. So I feel better. Didn't take long, did it? No, it didn't. That was pretty fast. It's, it's remarkably quick, but don't expect it to be because our tendency is time marches on and it grabs our consciousness and it like tumbles down this river and hits every rock, right? And so if you could just stop time in, in, in an instant, you are completely peaceful, completely relaxed. So it's just our ability to modulate our participation in the river of time. And if you could just get out of it, even for a minute or two, like you just did, it's like, oh, that's better. Mm, this is great. I don't feel very articulate right now. I just feel in my body. Perfect. Perfect. For someone who went to Harvard and did all the genius stuff, her energy tends to live here. Yeah. So that is great when you're doing this kind of stuff. But the problem is if you do this all day, your head explodes. So the practice of bringing the breath down to here bring, anchors the consciousness and lets us kind of water the roots of the plant. So this thing can blossom better, you know, throughout the day. Nice. I just feel happy. I have nothing smart to say. You don't need to. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I thought that was a great exercise. I love it. Thank you.